So welcome back to the channel. I'm here at Lamborghini of Troy, Michigan. And look, they have a blue Urus just sitting outside. It's raining, so I'm not gonna get like all the way out here. But, whoa, and then inside they have a blue Huracan Evo Spider, a red Huracan Evo, and a black Urus. And there's a Bugatti dealership right over there. Alright, we're over at the Bentley showroom and look at this Continental GT. Whoa. That is nice. No leg room though. This is a really cool, cool car. This is my first Bentley dealership to go to. Wow. Alright, so now we're inside of Lamborghini. Look at this Urus. It looks beautiful. Inside, black out here and then red and black on the inside. That's awesome. And then right over here is a Huracan Evo Coupe and a Huracan Evo Spider. Wow. And then right over here is a spider. Forged carbon fiber. Whoa. Oh, we're at Rolls Royce now. Whoa. This is so cool. Top of its class, Rolls Royce. Hands down, top of its class. Look at that. Gonna head over, check that out here soon. Whoa. That is cool. So a cool thing about Rolls Royce is no matter the way the car is, it could be on its roof. This will always be like that. The center of the RR would always be like that, no matter what. That is so cool. Well, um, you can cool. get um, footrests that are because there's two floors in the Phantom. It's yeah. built on aluminum. Look at this. This is really cool. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see that all that well. Ah, uh, I don't think so. That looks cool. Alright, so I'm here at Tom Kelly. And look, look at this gladiator. I really like this color. This is a really cool color. And right over here, I have a blue one right outside. That looks amazing. Well, uh, it's a bit wet and stuff, but I'll try to head out there and get some good footage of it and show you guys another gladiator that's right up the side up front. That looks really cool. I love the stands and the new bumper on it. And I think it would look really cool on that one right there. But this gladiator looks amazing. What, what are your guys' opinions on the gladiators? I love them. They're awesome. I saw a picture on Instagram from Mopar where they had a metal cage on the back right here like on the top and stuff and you could put a tent up on the top and right here they had a cutout for a gas I don't think I would do the cutout I just put like racks on the side and that would be like the ultimate off-roader or do a 6x6 conversion with that cage and stuff on it as well that would be amazing Let's just hop right on in. The interior is just like 
a Wrangler since it's based off of the Wrangler. This is the third vehicle in the Wrangler lineup. Pop right in. This one does have push start key fob. It's a bit hefty. Bit hefty key fob. Oh, it's upside down. Really hefty. Looks like you should be able to pop this out, but you don't. Don't really want to pop out the buttons. This is really nice. I love the steering wheel on this. Whoa. But yeah, the roof can come off. The roof can come off. So the speakers actually right back here in the roll cage. Since you can take off the doors as well. So that's that's really cool. But you can also fold down the windshield. You can fold down the windshield, you can take off the roof, and you can take off the doors. So it's practically a convertible pickup truck. How sick is that? But I was watching, was watching Doug DeMiro. There's an Easter egg in here. Small Jeep, it looks like the wheelies Jeep from World War II. Right up there, and then yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that. What? That looks so cool. I love this thing so much. There's some different Easter eggs inside the normal Wrangler. Which there's one right over there. So I'm going to go and try to find those. But I just love that feature right there. It looks awesome. That will make for a good picture. A really good picture. Alright, so for this one, instead of being a gladiator, I'm in the Wrangler, shows the wheelie street. Wonder why it shows the wheelie street instead of a Wrangler. But that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Throwback to one of the most iconic Jeeps ever. It's a wheelie street. And then here's still hefty key fob. And yeah, you can pop this out and turn it on if it dies. Well, that looks really cool. I love the steering wheel. That makes for an awesome picture. Not like that, just a little bit farther back. Get the whole steering wheel in the picture, but it makes for a really awesome picture. This one is the roof is off. This one just folds back. Huh. Pretty cool. They also have a Grand Cherokee SRT. Just like any SRT steering wheel. Pop right in. The carbon fiber all over the dash and the doors. Comes all the way over here. Carbon fiber. More carbon fiber. So, yeah, this thing has upwards of 650 horsepower. This thing will get up and go. Push that. Different areas to charge your stuff. That's cool. Launch. There's launch control in this. Launch control in an SUV. You would have thought. One thing I don't like about what Dodge does is it's not all the way down. See, I don't like that. It's not all the way down. And if you look over here by launch, is a dial where you can set it up for tow, snow, auto, uh, probably just like not using the paddles or just cruising along the road, sport and track. That's cool. So that side is Jeep, this side is Dodge. And over here they have a wide body scat pack. Look how cool this is. back here whoa so cool I really like how the wide body is I like the wide body better than the normal the wide body does have a little bit more horsepower different a little bit different suspension setup and stuff than the normal scat pack and likewise with the Hellcat wide body, a bit different than the normal. 
those are hollow on each side for aerodynamics so the wind can go through and help cool and it's real cool and the red eye hellcat it's cool but if you look back there you can actually see a red eye so that's pretty cool that's really really cool so let's hop right on in These do have sport bucket seats, so I'm a bit thin, so I can wobble around a little bit. Doesn't give me as much hug as a average American would. That looks really, really cool. Here's your different stuff, launch control, different drive modes, stuff to control the speakers and the screen and climate control. Right over here on the wide body scat pack. Look, they have a picture of a car right here on the front windshield. That's really cool. Just like how the Jeeps are, but on the other side. That's really awesome. So right here's a new tailgate. Looks pretty cool. I was told just pull up if you want to open it like a normal tailgate. Or push down right here. It opens up like a door. Very, very interesting. And then come right over here. Open that up. There you go. Hmm. The first time I saw a different tailgate than a normal tailgate was a Honda Ridgeline up at the auto show in Detroit. So it was this. And it, it was in different sections like this. It did fold down like a normal tailgate, but also opened up like a door. But instead of just being cut down, the whole thing from here opened up like a door. So I, that was really cool. And then you can fold this up, get stuff down in there. But you can't do it on this one. You can tell people have been climbing around in here. But, you know. That looks really cool. That is really, really cool. Whoa. I got this color on this GT350. The, the Chevy dealer, right? Uh, this is a 2020 GT350. Okay. So there's some subtle differences in the one I reviewed last year. Like, obviously, this rear wing. Big main difference. But I like this color. It's different there's no room back there for the rear seats and then right over here is a blue one I also really like this color as well you guys know I love blue that looks so cool interior a little bit different than the other one the other one had the green one. Oh, that looks cool had race a bit more race focused seats than this one does but both are really really cool now we're out Stuff. Well, look, they have a black gladiator up here on some fake rocks. That looks cool. That looks really cool. The uh, Porsche and Audi, where I go all the time, next to the Dodge Jeep dealership and during the winter time, whenever we get. Right now it's winter. Doesn't really look like it. I mean, there's some snow from last night. But really, it's just been warm and not all that snowy. But uh, last year when we got some snow, they put some snow, they plowed the road, put some snow up like in a mound by a ditch, and then they parked a gladiator up on it. Just, you know, some subtle flexing with their products. But right over here is the 
blue gladiator. Uh, excuse me, hiccups. Look how awesome this is. I absolutely love this. I love this. Oh, oh this is so cool. But look at that. That's so cool. Ah, oh, but just imagine this. Imagine this looking like that. Ah, oh, yeah, they put on a two inch lift kit. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> big, big difference with 37 tires. 37 inch tires, not 37 tires. No, 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 no. But I like the rims on that as well. Instead of those rims right over there. Man, I don't like those at all. Those are boring. But something like this and a new bumper. New bumper right here. Look how awesome that is. Just imagine this on that with this kit on that as well. That would look so sick, so sick. And then that cage I was telling you guys about from official Mopar that just come back. It was like a small little extra roll cage and there was some racks on the side and a tent. Oh, ultimate off-roader, ultimate off-roader this thing is. Looks so cool. Yeah, and then the bed there's some notches right there. This Jeep knows this is a small bed so you can put like boards and stuff right there. And right there to help stabilize stuff as well. Oh, that looks so cool though. But the blue, oh, the blue is amazing. Imagine putting a demon engine in this, 840 horsepower. I mean, this fan man's going all out, putting a elephant in it, a thousand horsepower Jeep Gladiator. But a thousand is a bit too much. 840. There we go, right there. What? All right, so today, I am, at the end of this video, I am at Tom Kelly Dodge and Jeep, their new showroom here in Decatur. It looks really, really amazing. I would go check it out if you're ever in this part of town or just go check them out online. They're really, really amazing people. They have really cool cars. But back in Detroit where I was at the beginning of this video, I saw some cars that I didn't get some pictures of or some footage of but I'll post them up right now. It's a McLaren Senna. They said that thing is $1,030,000. And there's some different stuff on it. The rims on that one I saw was black instead of the steel, silver color eyes, uh, of the one that I put up. And the interior was blue. I've never seen a blue interior, so it was blue on blue. It was really, really cool. And then the next one was the Aventador SVJ. It was matte green, and the interior was green accents black with green accents really really cool i would go check them out at suburban motor cars in detroit and they're they're just really amazing people we weren't even allowed back there but they they took me back there anyways yeah the new dealership here at tom kelly it's so nice it's really really beautiful it's super clean and they have a lot of cool pictures of a lot of different cars all over and they're really, really nice people here. They also have some really cool stuff in stock right now. And that means they're more than likely will continue getting cool stuff. Because there's some really nice cars driving around Decatur. Such as a Hellcat Challenger. Wide body Hellcat Challenger. Hellcat, two Hellcat Chargers actually. And a former Mercedes race car. But go ahead check them out if you're ever in this part of town. But yeah, that would be all for this video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. That would mean a lot to me. But as always, adios, chaps.